Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is LV and if you're new to this channel, this is my YouTube channel where I talk about plant, plant propagation and show you the plant that I got. And today is going to be grow tents tour video and also an update on some of my plants and the setup on this grow tent. So let's get started. I think it's 8 by 10 That's the size of it. Of this tent is very big and it's fit perfectly in my garage. Long story short is um, I used to have two tents in my bedroom. Here we go, da da da. And it has a mole under because of the humidifier and it's a DIY tent. So I decided to put all my plant down in the garage. This is a humidifier. I got it from Costco. I like this one very much. This is my favorite one. So because you can refill one while the other one is still turning on so you don't have to wait all the water to to be off and with my grow tent set up it will last at least three days and the humidity around 90 percent if i don't open these tents every day there will be a water on the ground today i'm trying to do the lower setting so see how long i can have it on right now the temperature is 69 and the uh, humidity is 69 it used to be higher than that but i was working on it earlier before i do the video right now it's winter time with the grow right the temperature is around 75 and the outside temperature is around 45 at night time this grow 10 temperature about 59 55 somewhere like that it's doable amounts as a winter time and i like it better than in upstairs in my inside the house because the temperature is a lot more suitable for the plant here is my new grow light that i has updated last time this is my broom plus uh, grow light i still liking it it's really good it's smaller i wish i would get a bigger one um it's fit my grow tents and it's very very strong i heard they can adjust it using a screwdriver or something i did not adjust it because i just <laughs> a little bit lazy just doing the full power so i'm trying to put my philodendron upstairs and my monstera upstairs and the lower like planting down here i do get some sun stress with this plant so need to be careful this is vivo sun grow tan i also have led light the led strip light on top of the two others grow light and i think my plan might be having too much light right now <laughs> so yeah so this is a setup it's automatically turned off we have a timer in it so this is a wall of my monstera that i'm propagating uh, it's been propagated over two three months it's very stubborn it's not being successful some of them is doing pretty bad right now i do my best to grow them and this is my my mouse um was the precious plants i love this this area so much it wasn't here before i was planning to put it inside my house i can see there's what neglected a little bit but if i put it in my house i will see it a lot more often so i do have some more propagation going on that is my begonia i have a bush of very big begonia so i cut them off and then put it here and i'm not going to show you all the plants that i have here because today is more like a tour on my setup this is my plant my friend's plants it's a drop marma i do love it a lot um but it's really big right now i think it's at least three feet three feet long and then this is my merino chrysum so my biggest plant is on the top um and then the one that need more light and therium doesn't really need that much light but my friend said this dark marma might need more light so i put it on top but philodendron does love a lot of light this one doesn't really need that much light actually this one is borough chrysums hybrids i bought it as a big size it's still trying to adapt the environment right now it's already potted in the soil and this one you can see doesn't like so much light this is the newest leaf after i got it the one in behind it that is my variegated belly tie love it a lot this is the third new leaf it has this is the first new leaf it has down here is my uh, red chrysoranium i bought it as a seedling from nsc tropical and the more plant down here is more like propagation to sell and i think this one is a lot of people favorite this is my antilla maxillians this is the second new leaf that i got since last year <laughs> this plant grow pretty so i hope it's grow faster sooner this one is also one of my friends plant is a dark mama as well not oh i didn't realize there's a new leaf here <laughs> yay and it's been flower like crazy it's keep wanting to flower 
Florent and Gorius, one of my favorite as well. And then here, my I just find a new leaf. This is my um, Magnificum X Papillonium. And then down here, some more uh, propagations. I have a lot of uh, begonia and they grow pretty big. I don't realize begonia can grow so big, so I cut them off. It's been growing for a year, so not all success. As you can see, this two leaf has melted. I was lazy as well, so I put it all in the soil. One of my uh, Folida Beauty. I'm not sure what happened. The neck was snipped off. I don't know if it's too heavy or what. So I have to reroot the whole the hands. And here, this is my Sauderoy. Um, Famanesis Tropical. like it a lot. Some more plant up here. Vichy Eye, the king up here. That down one is my Silver Dragons. So I do have a fence in this in this growth hands, you do need a fence just to get the airflow going. Um, I have two. Better to have actually exhaust pipe to go outside this tent, but for now, it's quite a new tent for now. I just let it as is. The ideally is can exchange the air every day so there are more, no more will be growing and it won't have, I don't know, would that still have the condensation? Is it behind the wall? There are condensation as well. Some of my variegated plants up here. Inside here, that's my yellow Monsera Aru. And here is one of the cutting that I was trying to propagate. So this is how my grow tent set up. And the like, this is the Bloom Plus like that I got from last video. I like it a lot. It does create quite a bit of heat. So um, I think it's pretty good if you do grow tomato or something that bear fruits. That would be pretty good uh, for the growth tents. For most of my plants, it's also good for like um, variegated plants as well. Um, Philodendrons and Monstera do like it, um, but my Enthrium not so much. I will have more updates on each individual plants or like the same type of plant. Stay tuned for my next updates. See you guys next. Thank you for watching. Happy growing. Bye bye.